on to the receive now of the Midland 48 Plus. A new setting for optimization. Well, it is, to be honest, it's quite deaf on receive. That's uh, one microvolt on the signal generator. And it looks to me like uh, L501 is going to be the first of the receive adjustments. And L501 looks to me to be this open coil here. Yes, I'm right. Now I've brought that up a bit. And I tell you what, it needs bringing up a bit. That's the first one. The second one is 503. That's brought it up again quite a way. So back off the signal generator. This is probably optimised for CPT band, to be honest. Well, I'm optimising for 2781, which is what the customer wants. And then we'll move on to L504, which is the third one down. Go back to 503. Go back right to 501. And then back to 504. Seems to be it. Right, we're now on 0 0.3 of a microvolt. 0.15. That's not what you'd expect out of a radio. Yes, yeah, so just to recap, you've got 501, 503 and L504. And then now we're just going to do the detector, which is 505. So we'll set the signal generator for 100 microvolts. I'll just put the other camera back on. We'll keep the left hand oscilloscope this time. Better just move the light out of the way. Not in the path of the other camera and adjust 505 that was miles out good grief it was that's now beautiful Now, while we've got S9, we'll make sure that the S meter is reading 9. And it's actually reading 5 and a bit. Now, I'm going to guess that 801 is going to be the S meter. And I'm right. That's now S9. So, that's S meter. I'll make a note now on there. So that really only leaves one preset we're not sure about, and that's 901, which is in the middle there. And that's the only one I've upset um, not knowing what it is. And I would think that's better be the squelch. And that's something we'll now check. So I'll switch the signal generator off, set the squelch for threshold, switch the generator back on. See when it comes in. It 
come straight back in. That's very sensitive. Now I'll turn the squelch to full and see when this signal generator comes in. And it comes in at 300 microvolts and that's absolutely fine. That's just what we'd expect. Now, just to prove it, I'm going to upset this RV901 just to prove that is the squelch one. Oh, you know what it is. It's it's AM mod, isn't it? So it I can't see a preset for squelch. So now I'm going to have to do AM mod, and I'll do that off camera because we're not covering the AM circuits on these videos. Okay, that's sorted that out. I reset the AM modulation um, by putting the set into German mode and uh, and going through that. So I uh, will just recap on these presets, having now found out what's what by a bit of educated guess and some trial and error but at least I've got the test equipment to put it back right and at least it's still my set until the customer pays for it um, RV802 is um, at the back there and that's the RF meter RV801 is the S meter RV901 is the AM modulation RV802 is transmit power and RV oh it's the voltage regulator and RV501 is the squelch and then over at the other side of the set just to the left of the VCO can we've got the FM deviation and that covers it so I'll put it back together and we'll put it on the aerial and uh, it's working beautifully it was pretty much on the deaf side but it may well have been optimised for CPT channels and uh, that's going to be no good to our customer. Right, thank you very much.